Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to split and possibly rearrange a clip in Counter-Strike Source. Now this can probably be used for a few different games, but it's just the example I'm going to be showing you. Now the reason you would do something like this is to either A, make the frag look better, or B, help sync it to a song. So if you're not quite sure what I mean, I'll just pretty much show you a quick example from my latest Counter-Strike movie. The first clip will be the original frag unedited, and the second clip will be the frag which is split up and edited. Okay, so as you can see, I pretty much changed about a 15 second clip into a 5 second clip and made it look a hell of a lot better. So to do this, just open Vegas and import your clip. Now this is going to be different depending on the clip you're using and it's not going to work with every single clip. What you want to make sure is he retraces his steps, uh, not exactly, but close. So what I mean by that is as you can see, he starts to the left of this train here and he takes a shot. Now when he runs over here, he pretty much goes back to that exact same spot, so that means we can cut out that whole thing without really making much difference. So to do this, what we want to do is pretty much go from where we want to split, which is just after this shot, press S on your keyboard, and then go forward to where you want to split to. So that would be just after he scopes in here, and he starts moving across. So now if we just go through there, you can see it's very, very similar spots, and we can pretty much try and, you know, match these up to make it look a bit better. Now to help in the clip, we can add some velocity, so just right click and go insert, remove envelope, and click velocity. Now you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it to make this actually easier for me, and after it takes that shot, I'm just going to slow the clip down a little bit to say 50%. Now you don't really have to do that, it's just, as I said, helping me. Okay, so now we've got this, and he takes the shot and starts pulling his gun up, and at that time, we want to start speeding the clip up again, and what also helps is creating a new video track, and we can drag this one down, and what we can do is pretty much move these across, so you can keep playing around with this until you think it looks right. Alright, so that's pretty good right there, and what we can do is pretty much fade that in. So now if we look, he takes the shot, and it goes across like that. Now if you watch it frame by frame, it does look kind of dodgy, but if we watch it at full speed, it looks a lot better. And it looks pretty close. Some other things you can do to help mask this is add effects such as blurs, or just anything like that. You know, to mainly try and distract people away from the fact that you're actually splitting the clips. So then you want to repeat this process over and over again. So again here, he uh, takes a shot, but he stops here. What we can do is split it here. Uh, move this across. To about here. Split that there. And that's a bit dodgy there, but um, as you get the idea. And then he starts up the jump, and then just repeat the process again and again. Now, as I said, it's going to vary depending on your clip, and you're not going to be able to just watch this tutorial and be able to do it for every clip flawlessly. Uh, this is just to mainly give you the idea, and I hope it helped and, you know, made you realize that it makes a big difference in frag videos. Um, so if you have any suggestions or questions or anything like that for tutorials or whatever, just leave them in the comments below and if it's relevant I'll most likely reply. So thanks for watching, remember to subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.